So this is Sushi Cat, which is fairly old for a Flash game, but still very fun. I got a suggestion to play this from Cam the Man, and I played it before, it's really fun, and it's pretty short, so I thought what the hell. Programs by Joey Betts, art by Jimp. I believe... Oh, let's delete the saves. I'm not sure if my old save is still there. It's either this game or the sequel actually has an iPhone app as well. I don't think it has an Android app, otherwise I would have played that. But yeah, Sissy Cat sees Pink Kitty here, who's, if you notice here, she's actually a plushie. So he's trying to get into her house, and he's all like, angry face. But look, that stupid sumo guy can get in. So Sushi Cat has to get super fat. So let's prepare to get super fat. Eat 30 pieces of sushi to get fat. This game is all about being fat. And as you can see, he goes om nom nom and he eats stuff and he jiggles when he bounces on anything. It's a very cute little game. And fun too. It's sort of like uh, Peggle. It's like a simpler, less complicated version of Peggle, I'd say. And as you can see, you fill up your belly over here, and it, he gets a little happy kitty face. And as you fill up your stomach, you get multipliers. Starting at 1, you go all the way up to 10. And you get max points if you can gather all of the food, which... I have one more kitty left, so I can get all of it. This first level is, of course, the easiest. And you get bonus points by dropping into these buckets here. Little takeout boxes. And I think pretty much everything... I think this is all multiplied by your top multiplier here, which can be max of 10 if you actually finish it right. And as if you notice, you get fatter as you start to fill up. So what looks like initially a perfect straight drop down, you're going to bump around on some stuff if you get too fat. And you want to get fat. The bigger you are, the bigger multiplier you have, of course. It's not that big of a gameplay issue, but on occasion it can be important to plan how fat you're going to be. But generally you don't have to worry about it, so. And on occasion, one of the sushi buckets, the number is highlighted in white. I honestly do not know what that means despite playing this game before. I assume you get extra points relative for dropping into that bucket. I generally try to get it into the glowy bucket, but I honestly do not know if it does anything. And I'm not sure if there's a practical point, like, why you would need to know this, but there's a little tray here that shows you all the remaining sushi. And this is a special sushi. And we get double score for it. Which is excellent. Happy sushi time. Oh, hey, my multiplier is different. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe it's because of how many extra sushi I got. I'm not 100% sure how the scoring mechanics work. And watch as he talks, he goes, om nom 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 nom. Oh, and these glowy sushi, which are actually those good luck cats, you always want to get the special sushi as soon as you can, because they can have special effects that... I think sometimes these ones will give you extra life, and as you've seen, they give you double score, too. One more cat, see? That's an extra life. And getting these two sushi would be really hard. Well, you probably just need a bounce shot, but it's not something I'm... Oh, that was a wasted shot. It's not something I plan to be able to do. I'll almost just be lucky if I finish this properly, but it shouldn't be a problem. Just a few more things to go on, nom nom on. Full belly. Get in my belly. And as you can see, the takeout boxes are generally aligned 
Like the hard, the most points are the ones that are hardest to reach, which makes sense. Oh, almost gotten there. Meow. No sushi. Oh, hey, I still have an extra thing. He's ridiculously jiggly cat. I've never seen a cat quite like that. Oh, wow, I still have more healths. Dropping him straight down does not work for me. He always hits corners. Probably because he has a tubby kitty. Sushi frenzy! That just means you won, basically, I guess. Oh, see, I missed a bunch of sushi. So I got the lower multiplier, I guess. I think that's what's happening there. But as I said before, I'm not a high score nut, so I don't really care. Especially not while recording. And if you notice these, some of these platforms are angled, and if they have a nail on them, that means they have a pivot at that point. And if they don't have a nail in the middle, they're probably going to stay perfectly still. Yay, 200 points. It's a pretty simple game to play. I can see it being pretty fun on the on an iPhone or whatever smartphone. I would have downloaded it if I if they had an Android app version. Oh yes, Monokai Neko, one more cat. Is that like the proper name of that good luck kitty thing? I got some lag there. Kitty. Oh no, kitty. Oh dear. There we go. And if you hadn't noticed, when you drop in the takeout box, you get a multiplier based on how many sushi you collected that run. So if you can collect a whole pile of sushi and drop in the highest score box, you can get insane points. Like, more than the rest of the entire level combined, just from that. And see, these are the pivoting platforms I was talking about. You can see the nail in the middle. So these are going to move around whenever I hit them. And I don't think they experience any sort of friction or wind resistance, so they just perpetually spin once I've knocked them over. So this is initially a very static play field, but as you go on, all of these are going to start spinning and complicate stuff a fair amount. As such, dropping straight along these lines of sushi isn't as possible as you might think. And it does not want to give me those special Neko whatever thingies. Give me- no! Oh no. Sushi Cat is in a spot of trouble here, folks. And he fails at life. Oh wait, wait, wait. One up? Maybe? Yes! Excellent. Now let's try and drop Sushi Cat right down here. No! Sushi Cat, what are you doing? You fool. We could have won, Sushi Cat. Look what you've done. You are ridiculous, Sushi Cat. I guess this is just to sh see how much sushi there is left in general. And you get a ranking, like I got Heavy Cat there, based on how much sushi you ate. I don't think that directly does anything. It just sort of gives you an idea of how well you did on the run. Heavy cat is usually a good one to get. Fat cat is less so. I think. I forget what's above heavy cat. We didn't even get a title that time. We are a pathetic skinny cat. Nothing is sadder than a skinny cat. Now he's all happy face. Who's a fat happy kitty? Hey, eat more sushi. Yeah, I suck at this level. Needed to eat three more. Let's try this one first. That's more like it. Kind of. I still don't get that stupid thing. The, um, happy cat, lucky cat, whatever he is. This level is fairly tricky just because it's so random. Heavy cat. 
And honestly, they don't get much, too much harder than this. They're not... It never becomes an extremely difficult game. It's just very fun, and if you like high scores, it's a good high score game. Extra Cat? Yes! Excellent. Now I need to find some way to actually get the rest of the sushi. Poink. Smack. There we go. Full belle. Our belle is full. And we fail. But whatever, we got sushi frenzy. Delicious sushi everywhere. So now he's all fat and he's going in the door. But look! Purple Kitty is gone! Oh no! Where is Purple Kitty? Purple Kitty! Come back here! Oh no, we only have two yen, and the bus is three yen. Win one yen. That's that's the worst contest ever. We're going to eat thousands of yen worth of sushi to get one yen. We are awesome like that. We are much too badass to, like, panhandle or something. Because we're freaking sumo cat. And I'm not sure what the bike signs are about. I guess this is a street. So yeah, I guess that does make sense. It's a street with random triangles in it. It's Random Triangle Town. Most popular place in all of Tokyo. Oh, oh, no! I wanted that roll. Those rolls do wonderful things. I'll show you them. It. When I can. There we go. Oh. Well, that was sort of lame. It sucks in all of the sushi around you. But if you already eat most of the sushi, then... Well, there isn't much to get. Oh, an interesting side effect of, since this is a physics-based game, I've actually gotten stuck permanently on one of these levels. I think that was in Sushi Cat 2, though. There was this level where I just got so freaking fat that it wasn't possible for me to exit the area. And I left the game sitting for, like, forever. Or, like, a few minutes, rather, but... And nothing happened, so I just quit. I think these line things say something, but I don't speak whatever that is. doesn't look like kanji. Maybe that's hiragana or whatever the heck. But I have no idea. I kind of assume it is something. The game has a Pretty obvious Japanese motifs, you know. It is Sushi Cat, after all. And Sushi Cat does not eat sushi just because he's a hipster. He eats it because he's apparently Japanese. Which is why he gets triangles for eyes when he's happy. No, I want that roll. Oh well. I'm sorry as my computer is being slightly slow, but it doesn't affect the gameplay. That's an another nice thing. So it makes it great for, you know, like a phone app and whatever. It's really one button, but while still being fun despite being so simple. Yay, super fat cat. I think that is either the highest or one of the highest titles you can get is super fat cat. And then just fat belly jiggle. It's not really his belly, it's like his entire being. He's just sort of a gelatinous mass of cat. I wish I had a gelatinous mass of cat. I would name it Mr. Fatters. Well, that was a pretty bad run, but... We have enough sushis. Delicious sushis. I don't actually care that much for sushi, personally, if anyone's wondering, but... It is apparently delicious in this game, so it's good enough for me. I, I like lots of Asian food, but sushi is like bleh. Rice and seaweed are not my favorite things. Let's get... We want that roll. I'm not sure what kind of luck we're going to have at getting it. Mate? No. I don't see that happening. Squirsh. Come on, sushi cat. Oh, that was terrible. Come on, Sushi Cat, get that thing. No! 
we did not the thing get. And no matter how much you get squished, Sushi Cat always pops back, so you can't, like, explode or anything. It's not that type of game. Oh no, smack. Nah, he's not gonna get that roll, no matter how much I try. Oh. Oh, whoa. Unfortunately, you don't get points for, like, being in the air an epic amount of time, so... That was still a pretty bad run, even though it got me. There we go. Oh, well. We did just fine. Yes! Tsun is that... Was that Tsunami roll? It's T-something roll. Squish! We got squished. Let's see how many extra sushis we can get. Boink! Oh, you... There we go. Well, we got one. We got two! That is perfectly okay. Sushi from Zoya! There are some bike signs and some signs that are talking about the temperature or something, I don't know. It's got sort of a degree sign right there. I'm pretty sure that's just the Japanese symbol for something, though. Well, part of it. Because I've seen that little degree sign-like thing before. Whee. Well, eat some stuff and get fat. That's pretty much all there is to this game. You eat stuff and you get fat. Which is not something good to do in real life, but this is a video game, so it's perfectly acceptable to eat bunches of stuff and get fat. Especially when it's the objective of the game. And I'm not going to get that roll, am I? Nah. That is unfortunate. Keep getting squished by the bicycle and the other stuff. No, back to normal quality. I should have known that was going to happen. Roll! No! No! Well, no roll for me. The extra sushi... Well, the special sushis do not like me. And wow, this building has eyes and a mouth. I just noticed that. So like, hello, I'm a building. It is Japan. That's what all buildings look like in Japan. They're all anthropomorphic. No cats! Oh, owned. You're going nowhere, buddy. And you seem to have deflated and turned into a whoopee cushion. That is one upset fat cat. So he's run off to join the circus. But look, we can win Purple Cat! Yay, Purple Cat. Oh, He's not fat enough to win. You'll find in the world of Sushi Cat, being fat is always what helps your problems. So let's get this special sushi and see what it does. Dragon Cannon! Oh, I totally failed that. <laughs> Dragon Cannon is slightly unintuitive to aim, because you'd think he'd come out at the top of the cannon, but he can bump into some stuff that you wouldn't think. I'll try to explain it next time I get it. So let's get it right now, I guess. Out of the way, buddy. And go back over to that place. But yeah, see, if you try to fire here, you'd bump into that, even though the mouth of the cannon is over here. It's more like here. Oh, and see, we still hit the... The cannon barrel is a lot narrower than the cat, than Fat Cat. What is this? Sushi Cat, that's his name. So, if you judge by the width of the barrel, you might hit stuff that you wouldn't if you were considering the full girth of Mr. Sushi Cat. There's two sushi left. Let's play it risky and try to get all of these. Whatever. We got full bleh. Delicious. Not bad. Wait, how is two times... I think that does increase it, because two times fifty does not equal a thousand. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I remember my first grade math saying something about 2 times 50 not being a thousand. 
I think that was one of the lesson plans anyway. And he, you can see he gets all squishy when he gets into the conveyor belt. I wish in real life you just got all squishy if you fell into a conveyor belt instead of getting mangled horrifically. Being squishy is definitely a better alternative. Unfortunately, this cannon is not very helpfully placed to, like, do anything. See? Yeah. Not helpful. This one on the other... Ow! No, don't squish me! There we go. That is more like it. Oh! See, that's what I'm talking about. I was wondering if I would hit that. And clearly I did. What are we doing on time here? I can't check, actually. I will just trust that this is not running ridiculously long, and I guess it doesn't matter if it is, because YouTube has finally fixed the the limits, you know. I wonder what happened with that. Maybe they must have pleased content providers enough to make them stop being spazzes. Maybe they told Viacom to go eat a barrel of stuff. They were one of the big legal hurdles for YouTube. At least I think. This is one of those stupid media companies that I don't like. This is the level I got stuck on. So hopefully we won't get to that point. I got extremely fat. And then... Oh. And then I couldn't get through these points here at all. I was way too big. I was... Like, I wish you could see how big I was. I was bigger than this, considerably. And he would just get keep getting stuck on these things. And I kept getting hope that he would fall through somehow. Because he does get pretty squishy. But he just never got out. So I kind of hope this ends quickly so I don't that doesn't happen again. Because when that happens, I just had to restart the level. Um, it's kind of looking that, like that might have happened again. Which is... I kind of can't believe that this wasn't found in testing, because it has now happened to me two out of three times I have played this level. There we go! Yes! No! No! Squish more! Squish me out of this level. Look at that giant freaking belly. Sushi cat, you are ridiculous. See, this is what happens. He just keeps getting bumped around, but he's too fat to squish through. Because he squishes really slow. And... I keep hoping he's going to fall through there, but I don't think he is. So on this one, it's actually a pretty good idea to not let yourself get too big. So... This doesn't happen. I'm going to let him try once more. I think he might... No. Come on, Sushi Cat, you can do it! That looks incredibly painful. Come on, Sushi Cat. Squeeze through there. Yeah, he's not. He's not going through. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least you got to see the bug. It's just pretty easy to get really fat in this level, and it's easy enough for it to be impossible to get out. If I get stuck again, I'm going to be very annoyed. Come on, fall through, Sushi Cat. You can do it, buddy. He's actually not all that much smaller than he was before, is he? Or is he? I can't quite tell. You going to fall through, buddy? Um, let's just go ahead and assume you're not. Let's go straight to the freaking bottom. That's not quite what I meant. Um, whatever, though. Dragon Cannon! That's more of what I intended. See, and now it should be impossible to get so fat that, well, it should be considerably less likely to get to the point where I'm so fat I can't leave the level. I hope. I think this has been a fairly long recording, but I'm just going to one-shot this. 
there's not much point into making things into multiple recordings unless I'm gonna do it in multiple sessions at this point. Speaking of multiple sessions, I'm not gonna be doing uh, robot clashes anymore unless anyone mentions in the comments or something they really want to see the end of it or something. Because I was initially just gonna, you know, finish the rest of the levels and then play the rest with max stats to make it go quicker, but it takes a long time and it's pretty repetitive, honestly. There's just not much extra to do once you're past the first world or so. First couple of worlds, it just gets boring. And especially doing a Let's Play of it, it was just getting tedious. And no offense to this game, but I'm honestly running out of stuff to say about this too. But it's an adorable, fun little game. And I'm never quite sure when to just say screw it and just record the game without the audio to show it off. But I still haven't been doing many Let's Play, so I thought I should do this real quick. See, these levels seem to get easier, almost, because that level was really easy. But that, the one with the spinny platforms in the first world, that always throws me through a massive hoop. Hopefully this will end before too long, because I have to be in a group meeting fairly soon. I think we're pretty... Oh, never mind. I think we're pretty close to the end, though. I'm not sure why I wasted that. That was basically a wasted turn. You should just... Oh, weird. As you can see that this thing has a nail on it, so it is a pivoting structure. Please don't tell me I'm stuck. I can't be stuck. Come on. You can do it, sushi buddy. There you go. All that sushi is your reward for not getting stuck and being a fail cat. Nobody likes a fail cat. I also kind of wonder if you can get so fat that you can't fit in the takeout boxes. I kind of doubt it. I would at least hope there's something, some way the game deals with that. And I imagine, no matter how fat you are, you eventually squeeze through. That would be kind of funny, though. You get so fat you can't even fit through the end of the game. You did so well, the game's just going to be like, nope, you lose. You lose for doing so well. Sorry. We all. One sushi for me. And the lowest amount of points possible, yay. Well, we got a sushi frenzy, so whatever. Extremely fat cat! Oh, I guess we get a bonus for the best title we get. I think. Haha! -ha! I shall crush you! And green kitty- er, purple kitties fly everywhere. Why did I say green? But yeah, we are happy sushi cat now, and we have a pink plushie. Initially, I thought this was another cat. And then I was like, wait, why is that a plushie? Thought he was searching for that other cat. But he's looking for the plushie all along. And look, the armor logo is all cute. And I don't care to log in. So this is sushi cat. You should play it. It is fun.